Hi there, and welcome to Five Questions with an ISHLT member. I'm Jess Burke, Director of Marketing and Communications with the International Society for Heart and Lung Transplantation. And I am here today with Dr. Sandeep Sahe. Good morning, Sandeep. Thank you. Thanks for having me. My, my pleasure. Um, before we dive into our five questions, would you mind sharing who you are, where you work, and what your role is with ISHLT? Sure, thank you. Uh, I'm Sandeep Sahai. I'm a pulmonologist by training, and uh, currently I am a co-director for the Pulmonary Hypertension and CTEF program at Houston Methodist Lung Center, uh, Houston Methodist Hospital, Houston, Texas. Um, I'm my current clinical and research practice involves patients with pulmonary vascular diseases. Um, I also do uh, pulmonary fibrosis clinic also. Um, I'm involved in those patients, but it's more geared towards the pulmonary vascular diseases patient. So uh, that's uh, pretty much what I do. As far as my role in ISHLT, I think I became member for ISHLT maybe four or five years ago uh, now. And I attended one of the meetings in person before pandemic or maybe two. Uh, I loved it. I I love the the total you know environment of ISHLD and um, I am currently member of the pulmonary hypertension council and CTEF councils and um, and uh, I am I mean my primary membership in ISHLD is with that and I'm one of the early career physician um, in this speciality. Perfect. Well, what brought you to ISHLT in the first place? What made it the society that uh, mattered to you? Well, so I think I, my mentor, Dr. Frost, used to always attend ISHLT meeting, but I think I never did. But then uh, I was just talking to her and then uh, uh, some of the, you know, our senior colleagues, uh, and Dr. Vicheri, he was very involved. Uh, once I think on the Twitter, he was tweeting about ISHLT, uh, you know, encouraging the younger people to join. And 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 then I was like, oh, I have never been to. I should. Uh, and then I then I got the membership and attended the conference, and I loved it. And I actually told many of my colleagues, like you know, who are in the similar special, like who do pulmonary hypertension or CTF, like we should attend this meeting. It's very, very focused. And um, I think a very small uh, uh, community and uh, uh, of specialists and they very, very advanced uh, agenda generally in the meeting. And uh, so, so that's why I, I really liked it. That's great. And I love that um, Twitter is one of the things that brings us all together always. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what inspired your career path? How did you decide to start focusing on pulmonology, pulmonary hypertension, CTEF? What what got you there? That's actually a very interesting question because I don't know what really inspired me, but I think I get more and more inspiration from my patients. More I see they come from different walks of lives and and uh, uh, when you hear their stories and, and their struggles with the disease, and I think it just motivates you even more to do better and find maybe possibly a cure one day for this disease. Um, if nothing, at least uh, a better treatment option, which could really prolong the survival in this disease. So I think that's something what motivates me. And, and being a clinician, I'm always thinking about you know, having some more research ideas to have something to look at different aspects. But I think we all have, we, we have pretty brilliant people in this uh, uh, niche and <laughs> they have explored a lot of things. And it's, it's a very nice uh, learning experience while I'm doing this. So, and I, I really enjoy uh, a sort of comradeship with uh, everyone and, and they all have been very supportive, especially in ISHLT. Uh, all the members and the leadership people, they, they've been great. So I think this is sort of an inspiration when you see such uh, people in these positions and and they motivate you. And, and um, so I think that's that's what sort of my motivation and inspiration comes from. 
That's wonderful. And it really does all come down to creating a better life for patients, you know, whether it's research or the camaraderie, it all comes back to them. So I love to, I love to hear that. Um, What's a meaningful milestone either in your career or in the field of pH that you'd like to share? Um, and well, these are like sort of two questions. I mean, one is a personal growth uh, as a clinician and researcher. And the other one is uh, what I wish to have see for my pH patients. And let's start with the pH patients first. I mean, obviously, uh, main thing, we're all are looking at whether we have basic scientists, translational or clean issues, uh, or how to improve the outcome in the disease. And they are looking for different um, treatment options. And we literally have one disease modifying drug on the horizon. So we will see how in the next few years, how this pans out. So that will definitely uh, could become a game changer in pH. And then there are a few more. So that's something would be very interested in 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 the world of pulmonary hypertension. Um, on the personal level, I think uh, I really enjoy my interactions with patients, and I I think I would always remain a clinician to see patients in clinic. I think that's very satisfying experience. Uh, um, helping out someone improves dramatically than, uh, than how they feel and assessing and how to, there are different aspects into it, like someone doing good, bad, someone not doing that, said, that great. So how do you address those things? So uh, I think that's on the personal level is a little satisfying. Uh, in the academic career, I really don't have any specific aspirations to, but just like a normal trajectory, like anyone else uh, expects or does uh, pretty much that. Uh, I think I believe more in having a, a satisfying day than thinking about five years down the line or 10 years down the line and what I'll be doing. I think that's a very fulfilling way to look at it, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um. When you think about the future of your specialty, I know you just said you don't like to think five years down the line, but I'm going to ask you to. <laughs> what what do you see on the horizon for pulmonary hypertension, CTEF? What are what are some of the next treatments and areas of study that you're really interested in? Yeah. So, well, when I was saying that one day at a time sort of thing, that's for my personal thing, right. from the patient's perspective. But uh, but you know, from the treatment perspective, I just mentioned we have one. Uh, phase two trial uh, completed, which met the endpoint for a disease modifying drug. Uh, now the phase three is being started, and then we have a couple of more disease modifying drugs uh, in the in the phase two level. So I, I feel in next four or five years we will have these drugs. Uh, let's see how they shape the future of PAH and. Uh, um, I'm very hopeful. I think this is a very exciting time for pH in general. Uh, um, so let's see. I, I, I'm very hopeful that we will have at least a couple of more drugs, um, which will definitely uh, change the whole paradigm of management in pH. So switching gears, you know, we've talked a lot about, about your work, but what about you when you're not uh, treating patients and in the clinic? Um, what are you doing? What's your idea of a perfect weekend? Oh, thank you. That's, I'm still waiting for a perfect weekend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my perfect idea for, I like to sit down next to my pool in the backyard uh, and then sip my coffee and just not do anything, maybe take a nap. <laughs> that, that's sort of- A my, man after my own heart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that That's my perfect idea. Like, I don't want my kids coming around and asking 10 different questions. Give me a break. Uh, that's, that's how I think is uh, my perfect weekend. And I actually love to listen to music and I play my music on and then just- that's that's pretty much what I. Um, I think lately I have started uh, loving. I was not a very outdoor person, even for running or doing exercise. But I think lately I'm liking that more. I, I guess just because I've been too busy with work indoors, so uh, 
I like to spend some time and maybe go to some park or running or a little bit jogging and that kind of stuff. So nothing special, nothing too crazy. No. I think we're on the same wavelength. Um, <laughs> and I, I think the pandemic has brought out a love of the outdoors in a lot that of us. Is. So yeah. I like that for you. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, Sandeep, thank you so much for taking time to chat with me today. Is there anything else you want to share with the ISHLT community we haven't talked about yet today? No, thank you for uh, having me and uh, asking me these interesting questions. And I mean, I would like to thank ISHLD and you to give us this opportunity to to share uh, our things individually with the rest of our peers and colleagues. So uh, thank you very much. Oh, it's our pleasure. Thanks for joining us. So, thank you.